Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us take a moment to reflect on our failures and to ask the Lord for pardon and for strength. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Right. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting. O oh God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the people into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is the way of you, in the beauty of the Holy Spirit of God, forever and ever. first reading is a reading from the book of Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from her. From my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, and his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And so I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. I praise, I praise you for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise, I praise you. you for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise, I praise you, Lord, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you, when I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. I praise you, Lord. The second reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out every wish, my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John, John heralded his coming by proclaiming <clears throat> a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me, 
I'm not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we are celebrating the Feast of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. Uh, to put it in plain English, we're celebrating the birth of John the Baptist. Uh, we don't usually use the term nativity to mean birth in English, but in other languages they do. Like in Spanish, in Spanish uh, Navidad. I don't really want to get into the, the, the life of St. John the Baptist. I know that everyone who's listening and watching this video, you all have, uh, uh, you all know who he is, and you know what his ministry was. So I don't see a need to repeat all that. So I'm just gonna get right to the heart of the matter. What is the significance of John the Baptist's birth for us today in June of 2020? And the answer is that, that John was called from the womb to go out and to evangelize. And guess what? You and I have been called to, by virtue of our baptism, to go out and to evangelize. John's message was to was to tell the people about Jesus 
And how life should be about telling people about Jesus. So we are called to imitate John the Baptist in being one who is proclaiming the good news that Jesus is Lord. If we can do these things, then we will be like John the Baptist. You and I can't do it alone. It's just not possible. So therefore, we need to humble ourselves. We need to pray to God and pray some more and pray some more so that we will have the graces necessary to do that which the Baptist was able to do and we are called to do, and that is to proclaim that Jesus is Lord and there is no other. Amen. Let us pray before the Lord our prayer and petition for peace in our world, especially in all those countries and places where there is hatred, violence, and oppression. For real peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to this. Uh, pandemic. Let us pray for those who are ill and especially those who are on ventilators. Uh, we pray also for those who lost their lives because of this. Let us pray to the Lord that he will end this pandemic and restore people's good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord pray. hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are suffering from loss, especially uh, Marie Reed and her family and the loss of her brother. We pray to Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to gun violence here in Wilmington and for our young people. Uh, it, there's just too many killings going on. Uh, so, Lord, we pray that we human beings may respect the sanctity of human life from the moment of conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the intention of this Mass, especially for the repose of the soul of Matthew Reynolds, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, right. hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear and answer these petitions that are in front of us at the foot of the altar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Let us take a moment to reflect on our personal concerns and needs and ask the Lord to hear us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear our prayers and that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who for your goodness. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who for your goodness. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at his hands for the prayers and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the birth of him who both foretold the coming of the world Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit, we lift them up to the Lord. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
in his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise you, O great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of him. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he left for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the land of redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray. By setting down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time of what betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given. In a similar way, when some of us attended the talk, the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give him thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the life of your grace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph. And all the saints who are pleasing throughout the ages, we may merit to be your heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same time, man informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grace for our trees and our grace, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace out to you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Amen. with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall. those of you at home who are unable to attend today, we offer this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already present and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray for the Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, the church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This is a brief announcement before we depart. In the uh, 
musical, the Wiz, and in the play, uh, uh, the movie, the Wiz. Uh, remember the the wicked witch? Yes. And she would be sitting in her lofty throne, and the wicked witch would say, "Don't bring me no bad news." <laughs> Actually, she'd be singing it, "Don't bring me no bad news." Well, guess what? I'm the bearer of bad news. Um, I, I don't like to talk about things that are not good. Here's the bad news. Um, our donations have been has reduced uh, significantly, and we we need your contributions in order to pay our bills. Um, we are down about a quarter of what we would normally be getting in by way of the internet. Uh, so please contribute to the support of St. Joseph Parish so that when this pandemic comes to an end, and it will, I saw and you saw on TV last night that Dr. Fauci said that probably before the end of the year, close to the end of the year, that they will have a vaccine. And then the doors will be open again for all the people of God to come in and worship. But if the monies aren't coming in, then we can't pay our bills and then the parish um, will end up uh, in, in other words, debt. So please contribute, whether by the internet or by the postal service. We thank you for your generosity. Uh, also, I want to uh, let the Marie Reed know that she's in her prayers on the loss of her brother who died in Washington, D.C. Uh, may the Lord be with him. And on uh, this coming Tuesday, so that you will know uh, that uh, we will be burying Tony Dash at the Veterans Hospital, uh, uh, I'm sorry, at the Veterans Cemetery this coming Tuesday morning. So keep the Dash family in your prayers. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who's been watching our Mass on YouTube. If you like it, you've got to let people know and press that, that thumbs up button. And, and uh, we thank you for watching us and, and giving us some really fine feedback on how to make things better. Hold on one second. I was just being reminded that Willie Seth had surgery yesterday and keep him in prayer. Uh, he's, I believe, at Christiana. Willa. Willa. Willa, I'm sorry. Uh, I was corrected. <laughs> Will, Will. Uh, so keep her in the, in the prayer, okay? Um, anything else I forgot? All right, thank you. The Lord be with you. Thank you, sir. God, your hands and praise to God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Masses, give you more peace. Thanks be to God. God.